So restaurants I'm at, Balsamico Italian Kitchen in Imperial Beach, just one of the restaurants participating. It all benefits the Mitchell Thorpe Foundation. We're also going to be talking about a baseball tournament that kicks off tomorrow and goes throughout the weekend. We'll have more details straight ahead. Mark, good morning. Good morning. Restaurant week is next week. And uh, I've given Casey uh, a couple new places to go. One of them in the gas lamp, one of them in Mission Valley. Uh, we are going to be talking uh, to, we're going to be talking about the weather and how hot it's going to get as we head into the first few days of fall. It begins today. And we'll talk about it all coming up on Good Morning San Diego. This is Good Morning San Diego. Good morning, San Diego. I'm Lauren Finney. And I'm Paul Rudy. Today is Thursday, September 22nd. The clock is about to strike. 901, partner. Yes. Coming up in this hour, we're going to be talking about the Rancho uh, Santa Fe taste of Rancho Santa Fe. I think we're going to be having some samples out on the patio. And we'll be checking in with Tim Flannery, who is also on our patio, getting warmed up. He has a new album. Yes, here it is. Waiting on a Miracle is the new album. He'll be performing at the Belly Up on Sunday. You know, he had a big league career, big league uh, coaching career, and, and now uh, all, all the way along he was a musician. Right. I'm curious, when he looks in the mirror, what does he see? Does he see a former ball player? Does he see a musician? He, he sees a trinity. Family, music, baseball. That's his, that's his trinity. There we go. Is that true, or did you just make that up? No, she's, she's spot on. I'm, I'm, I do my research, yes. Mark oh. Mathis. Family music baseball. Yeah. Because if you watch the um, the documentary on Terry Bradshaw, he said that had he had to do it all over again, he would have been um, a country music star. Because when he was playing that song, he uh, wrote. Da, 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 da. I'm so lonesome, I could cry. Terry Bradshaw wrote that? Yeah, he sang it too. <laughs> became, uh, hmm. became a I had no idea. number one <laughs> hit. He sang it while he was playing. But by the way, uh, which reminds me, <laughs> at McGregor's on the 29th, they're having this uh, Halloween party and they're karaoke. Listen to how fun this is, okay? Karaoke, but you have to dress in the costume of the song you're singing. So for me, it's going to be costume change after costume change after. I've got to go from Gaston to um, uh, what's the genie, Aladdin. I've got to go then to Elvis, to George Strait, to. They're going to hand you the microphone back that many times. Larry Gatlin. I, oh yeah. I've already, <laughs> the songs I've already, oh, okay. but you have to dress in who you're singing. Oh, That could be fun. Oh, it's going to be great. But it's going to be like a crazy night for me because it's going to be scene, scene, costume change, scene, you know. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm just saying. Does that sound great? Yeah, it sure does. <laughs> I mean, I, I'd be there for two meals. <laughs> The afternoon show and the night show. <laughs> so it'd be pretty funny to see you as Mick Jagger. No, no, I couldn't get into Some the trousers. Some little leather pants. <laughs> <laughs> Too tight. You could do the dance. What do you do? You do it there. And then the. He does the oh, we don't want to. We don't want to bore the people. Hmm. Okay. Well, oh, we'll talk about the weather here in a minute. <laughs> All right. Right now, we'll talk about gas prices because. Uh, they're going back up. They're back on the rise. Jason Ostell is live in Kearney Mesa with more on the overnight jump in prices. Hey, Jason. Hey there, Lauren. Hi, Paul. Hi, everybody. Yeah, we had a little bit of a jump overnight, but it was even a bigger jump the night before that. Overnight gas prices here in San Diego County rose by five cents a gallon. And that takes us up to $5.53 for an average. Now, the day before, we jumped 6.4 cents a gallon. So uh, again, $5.53 is, uh, is what we're looking at right now for an average. That is 14 and a half cents more than a week ago, 23.7 cents higher than a month ago, and a dollar 18 more than it was a year ago. And then we're getting our figures from the Oil Price Information Service as well as AAA. And speaking of AAA, we've got uh, sound from Doug Shoup here, our good friend Doug Shoup, and as to why we might be seeing this sudden uptick in prices. Take a listen. 
over the last week, we saw refineries doing some planned maintenance. There were also some unplanned maintenance issues uh, that happened. And the U.S. Energy Information Administration reported last week that gasoline inventories in Western states are now at the lowest level that we've seen in a decade. So uh, we had a chance to talk to a couple of motorists who were putting gas in their cars just a short time ago. Here's what they had to say. So when was the last time you filled up gas? Um, I don't know, maybe a couple weeks ago. And you noticed as soon as you pulled up to the point right away, you hadn't heard about the news from overnight, but you could tell it was more. Yeah, I noticed that gas was over $6 this morning, and it was less than $6 the last time I filled up. What happened? 6 09 today. Dude, this is crazy. Come on, somebody do something. Help! Last time you filled up, how much was it? Oh, I think it was 529. It's 609 today. Yeah, we need we need serious help. Okay, so as far as our average versus the national average, again, our, our average is $5.53 a gallon. The national average went up 0.3 tenths, well, it went up three tenths of a percent. Uh, of a cent, I should say, overnight. The national average, three dollars and sixty-eight cents. So, three sixty-eight sounds like a bargain, doesn't it? When we're sitting at five fifty-three, we're live here at the Chevron Station, corner of uh, Balboa and the one sixty-three in Kearney Mesa. Paul Lauren, back to you. Three something seems like a lifetime ago. Did you see the uh, former president on uh, Hannity? I think last night, talking about after the elections that prices are going to go even further north. Um, because he feels, or according to the former president, that the current administration is doing their best to tap down costs with using fuel out of the petroleum Reserves. reserve. Yeah. 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 So that that's only what eight you weeks. You can't out. wish it away. It's going. It's yeah. been here for decades. It's going to be here for decades. We'll make the transition to your clean and in, uh, uh, renewables and things like that. We're all for that. But right now, we got to get through day by day. We could use some help, just like that gentleman said. All right. Yes, I, I appreciated his plea. Yeah. Help. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Thanks, Jason. Jason. Let's